Oh, I did like the joke. That was quite funny. I got that joke I saw yesterday, which was how many cases have there been confirmed in North Korea? And they put the stats up yesterday. One, bang, zero. One, bang, zero. One. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we are behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault. I'm clear, Brad. <laughs> 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 we worked out how fucked up Brad's humour is. Darkening. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say dark. Cannot... People just think I am. <laughs> you cannot tell me where something as fucked up as that when I've drank a bottle of wine. <laughs> There's people in chat. We've got Dave Wright, we've got Andy Harris, we've got Tony Parkinson. Yeah, but uh, can they hear us? That's the Dave Payne, do you know? Russell Blair's there. Mick. Andy Fairchild, Bob Clark, we're all rang in. Uh, Brad is sloshed. That means they can hear us. Yay. Yay, you can hear me giggling. Deborah's in. The lovely Deborah. Deborah. I like the song. <clears throat> Mix in. I already said Mick. Patrick's here, though. Maybe. Mmm, Ibby. Mark Hall. Oh, the big hall. Yep, 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 Gareth. We're oh, just literally yeah. just reading. Okay. Yeah, we can just go now. Okay, go live. Yeah, well, intro then. Do it when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> And we're live, literally on screen, live. Welcome to the New Home Show. It's Thursday night. It's three minutes past nine. And that can only mean one thing. The New Home Show right again. Um, I don't plan these bits. Uh, you can't tell, man. <laughs> um, so everyone's, everyone's in. It's great to see everyone's smiling faces in chat. Jibby, Clive, Mick, Brad, Gary. We've done this bit already before we came fully on screen. Um but great to see everyone. Don't forget, it's literally a matter of life and death. My life, your death. Um, <laughs> smash that like button, 2020 style, Corona style. Not do it while you still can. COVID-19 style. Tap that like button just the once. Wear a glove and stick it in. Turn it blue <laughs> and uh, do that like thing. And don't forget to switch your chat to live chat uh, from top chat or whatever it is. Um, just so you don't miss a very important message from uh, a very important Omi. Hmm. We will. Um, we we say this. We used to say this a lot. Now we don't even bother. Um, but it genuinely is a jam-packed show. Uh, we've got uh, this man in the bottom corner here, and uh, he's back. And therefore, we've got loads of juicy vape tech to show you. Um, I've found some quite good stuff as well um, from the more affordable end of the spectrum. Um, but so we've got a lot of vape tech to show you. Uh, James is back again. Brad's here as well and John. Uh, let's uh, we'll just quickly go around and then we'll get into all this new vape stuff and some news and all that good stuff. Um, Brad. Hello, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Have you got Corona? Might as well add it to the... <laughs> Absolutely. Not as far as I'm aware. <laughs> the, but, new week, uh, the new weekly question. What are you when when I, drinking? When I went in correct. for a test, they ran away. That's what they found. So, one, one, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, with, well, when, when I dial one, 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 I get redirected. End up my, my, my phone rings. Anyway, I get the cricket um, scores. I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Has you anyone used to be able to dial for the cricket scores? Didn't you? The weather is shit. When you have to go to work, when you're told to stay. Oh, home, I don't like this argument. No, it, it, but it's not. It's fine through a window. It's fucking freezing. Everybody's saying, "Oh no, it's not." Oh, nice. and in it, nice. Who cares? It's fucking freezing. Fuck oh, no, this. Nice. It's a blue sky. It's four degrees. Give a shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Four degrees. Sixteen. Oh, should we have a game around? Sixteen, 16, 16 degrees. It's been glorious, dear. 
Because if people have the shorts in Sunderland, in the shorts. Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you got now? Six, it's six degrees here currently. Yeah, it's dark now. You know what? Six degrees there because you're freaking bitter and cold. That's why. That is what it is. It's night time. Yeah, that's what it is. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's night time. <laughs> it's fucking cold. I don't understand it. People sunba- sunbathing at the weekend. What? It was fucking cold. Okay. Well, anyway. sorry. I, I digress. I'm vaping Old Faithful because I have not found a re- suitable replacement for you, Will. And I think until the world reverts back to normal, I probably won't. EVL. The EVL will be staying because uh, that's my baby. And in there, I have got a brand new bottle of Stockpile Jackie from... Why is it Stockpile Jackie? Well, because I'm stockpiling. Oh, this okay. is mine and this is my stockpile. Yeah, that's, your, that's, all, that's your entire stockpile there. <laughs> yes, this is my entire stockpile. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's three months worth for Brad. It is true. Yeah, easy. Like, mouth to lunging like a beast. This will last me till... It is whatever this, milligram I wrote on the front. I can't remember what I wrote on it. You didn't write shit on it. Oh, okay. It's that. Then. That means it's zero milligram, Brad. Zero, zero milligram. Zero milligram. Right, I think, it, I think it's 20. If I remember rightly, we had a conversation. I think it's 20. We had a conversation, so we'll, we'll go with that. Mm. But it's yummy, either way. Um, I am uh, on the wiener tonight because... Just, sorry, just hold one second, James. They're saying somebody's saying you muted, but I don't it's just just say something northern. James is silent, Jib Jeffs is saying. James is muted. You haven't got silence, have you, Richard? Say something. I, I can hear him. He's, he's muted a now. He's taking a piss. Now he's doing a silly. He's too good at the mutey, fake mutey thing. I hate it. Don't do that. Like I'm not muted. Looking... I'm not muted. All, all it is is that yeah, yeah, people are talking to us. That's all it is. Yeah, so, I didn't see yeah. Rich, Rich has got the try. He's, he's got the, the 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 yellow box, the yellow. And see, and see, I'm not muted. I'm not muted. <laughs> not muted. Well, now I shall offer my explanation for the wiener. Last week, everybody rushed out to buy fucking cans of beans and pasta, and and blue roll. Right, let's be honest. This week, they've got all of that shit, but they drank all their fucking beer. So they've bought all the beer in the shop, and now all I can buy is wine. But I'm not complaining. Because it's red and it's yummy and it's mine. What was the other question? Corona. Have you got Corona? Oh, not as far as I'm aware. That's And I'm sticking to that. That's my answer. I am going to throw this at Darling James, because... I missed you and I haven't seen you and and come for a cuddle. Well, when Corona's over, come for a cuddle. Okay, okay. What are you vaping, darling? What are you drinking? And uh, have you got Corona? <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Lovely Brad. I don't know where you are. Brad, there, there. I'm not sure where he is. You're there on my screen, We're obviously. Let's not do this again. Okay, I am drinking on. I've got... I've got I can still get. I've got, I've got a stash of Carlsberg. I'm drinking. I'm drinking Carlsberg. But I've also got. I've also got a nice. John will love this. Yeah, I know John's a big fan of the Cronenberg. Yeah, that's one. I've got to say that's one of my wife's favourites. Look at that. That's that's a proper can, John. Proper can. She does. She, that is honestly. That's one of Mrs. John's favourites. Is Cronenberg. Proper can. Good old Shelley. She she knows. She knows. She knows. Uh, she, knows. Uh, she does. She does. Uh, she likes Bex and that. I mean. <laughs> I am vaping on. I'm not even listening. Uh, I am vaping on. Uh, I've got this. Look at this. This thing here. This thing. I've had it since dear dot. Since mm-hmm. since I started the show Some many years ago. It. It's a Lucas. It's got a Viper V2 on the top and a whistle on top of there. And in there is oh man. I'm re- I'm raiding my stocks. I am raiding my stocks. Uh, and I've got some some. So this is this isn't even available now. Uh, this is wanted. By delectable juice. Have you have you any of you tried this? No. What is it no. taste of? Pretty it's, it's, it's a custard. It's a custard. It's by uh, it's by a mate of mine, Sunderland lad, Ernie. Doesn't make it anymore. Doesn't make it anymore. It hasn't been available for a long time. This is. I mean, it's not particularly dark. Actually, I would have thought it would have been dark on that. It's only three milligram. 
it's a custard and it is delightful and that is probably the only wanted in the world only one in the world it's a really really tasty creamy custard uh, with some other stuff in there it's nice nice that's it in that uh, lugos and i've got the little uh, weird, weird mini uh with an order yeah. 16 atop of that and in there is secret juice you know the secret juice that would oh yeah yeah uh i don't think that's mentioned a fruity uh secret juice and and it's it's gone down canny it's gone down canny uh corona wise I've not been tested. They're not testing anybody on that. I don't know whether I've got Corona. I've got a bit of a, uh... <laughs> a bit of a, uh... <laughs> no, I might, I might. It's good. How, how do we get the distance on the, do you just lean out? Two metres. Yeah, probably. I mean, I covered my mic there. I'm all right. You probably didn't go. I covered my mic. Probably good. Probably good. No, I mean I've been out. I've been out. Been to, oh, I've been shopping. Been shopping. That's all I've been. No, shopping. Not not once a day like some people. Uh, but more than once a week. So somewhere between the two. That's all right. You're covered. You're all right. You know, I don't think once. I, here's the thing. I kind of do it once a week. Can, I, I kind of do it once a week because I uh, I refuse to get a trolley. I'm not getting a trolley. I'm a basket yeah. man. Uh, that's that. If I kind of get it in a basket, that's the stop behind. <laughs> Basket pockets. Where extra do you, long. Where do you stand on the little baskets that you can roll along behind you? I've not seen the little baskets that you can roll along. Bray, I've seen them in Wilkinson's. I have seen them in Wilkinson's. Um, Would you use uh, one of them? I, uh, the, the, like part part basket, part old lady trolley. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If 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 I was desperate, I might just carry one, just hike it on my shoulder like that. Yeah, you can carry them. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just I'd probably just do that like a uh, I'd just, like. Like the geezer I am and that. Uh, no, I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm not against trolleys. I'm not against that kind of trolley. I, I, as long as it's a basket trolley, I'd probably. Um, They're really no, good. But, They're incredibly um, agile. You look a wally with it. That's the problem with it. I don't look a wally with it. Not Take that back. Yeah, I bet Rich. I bet Rich rocks a trolley. You should see. I'm gliding about. <laughs> it's just. Do you really just, use them? The problem is, the only trouble with deep. a little with those baskets is you can't fit an entire scuba set in. <laughs> oh, hey, you got to remember though. Keep to your limits. You're only allowed two at the moment. Yeah, two scuba sets and one hand pump, and a cordless drill. Oh yeah, but that's the problem with the basket. <laughs> that was one of my favourite jokes last week. You're limited to two of any essential item in Tesco, Sainsbury's, and at Lidl, you're only allowed. Two wetsuits, a cordless strap, and a suit and a box. <laughs> suit and a cap. <laughs> yeah, good. It's good. It's good. They've, they've, they've actually they've closed the middle aisle in, in my old day. They've closed it. You know that middle aisle where all they were uh, with the, with the MIG welders and. Uh, and <laughs> you mean yeah. what you're trying to you're skate you're kind of skating around is the word shite. <laughs> is what you're Why have around. they done that? Closed, closed it off. Closed it off. They had stuff. They had stuff in there. They had stuff in there. I know today, today I believe I didn't. I didn't know about this until earlier. But apparently today we've been uh, we've been applauding the NHS at eight, at eight pm. I didn't. I didn't realise because and I didn't applaud. I'm terribly sorry, NHS. Me, me parents, me, uh, me mother and me uh, sorry, me mother and me brother both work for the NHS. For I work for the NHS myself. I know lots of people who work for the NHS and they do a brilliant job. However, the staff in Aldi, unbelievable, mate, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's and about too- five past eight. But five yeah. last year, they should have been that. applauding the staff in Aldi. They've been absolutely tremendous. Well, well done, Aldi staff. I do, I do it while they're beeping it through. <laughs> Bravo. And then, the problem then is they do that awkward thing where, oh, we just move it to the... No, I'm busy clapping you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's me done, that's me done. I've talked enough. There. John. All right. Uh, you right, mate? Yeah, not bad. You? Uh, much Corona? <coughs> None. Excellent. We're well, done. Ask you that question then. And uh, what are you drinking and what are you vaping? Uh, I am drinking. Oh, I'm currently drinking. I actually, I think I no. I, what did I open? Uh, I think this is a punk IPA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, punk IPA. Um, it's nice. I like it. I've got it in the old Martin glass. Um. <coughs> Um, and I am vaping on the regulars. I'm running low. I'm running low, but there's good news about that later, so it's fine. I am vaping on <coughs> crack current, which I'm getting low. Look at that. Oh, what Not are you going to do? 
Don't worry, it's coming back. It's Hopefully day, your it? stockpile's bigger than mine. And then I've got a more right for liquid. I haven't really got a problem with liquid. That's not really an issue I have. Um, <laughs> yes, but that that we coming back. Uh, yeah, that and that. I thought I'd just do this. I go just did this on my phone. Look. It's quite good. What do you mean you um, ghosted it? Pardon? What do you mean you ghosted it? I ghosted what? You just said you ghosted that. No, I said I just did it. Oh, okay. Um, I yeah, that's it really. No, no Corona IPA. Crack current in the Dwar, uh, twenty-two. Um, lemon crack in the Dwar. No, that was sixteen. And lemon crack in the Dwar, twenty-two. Richard, have you got Corona? What are you drinking? What are you making? Um, okie dokie. Uh, a little English delicacy this evening. From Burton on Trent, uh, Carlin Black Label. It's the Black Label. Oh. One. A... <laughs> the good stuff, the Black Label. Yeah, the Black Label one. I didn't. I I don't you're like always, the, say... you know, the White, white. Label one. You know. I imagine you sending someone out for some Carlin White Label and some Embassy Number Nine. It's a, it's a lovely drop. <laughs> it's really really not. <laughs> you're only doing it. The thing is, it becomes addictive to be a bell end on this show. You go out at lunchtime, and when it, like back in the day, when it was like knew what people were going to ask me for lunch, when I was in the supermarket, I was like, I'm going to get the craziest shit possible. That'll do coconut maroons, yeah. macaroons, an orange, and one pot noodle. Get something you like and just lie. <laughs> no, it's funny to have done it. I don't know why. Um, so I'm drinking that. I'm going to get something nicer in a minute. Uh, but I start one of them. I've got, the, I've got to get rid of mana, so got to get drunk. Um, <laughs> still on the swag too. I'm just, I'm waiting for this coil to die, so I can bin it. Um, <laughs> but it's not. It's just it's going. And the little up. bastard won't die. It's going and going. This coil. I must be fifty million, fifty milliliters into that uh, coil head, which I suppose is a good thing. Um, still testing this. This is next on the old review queue. The uh, Oxva, uh, the Origin Ox by Oxva. Um, it's a it's just a really canny little AIO poddy type thing. Eighteen six fifty in there. Ah, nice a little screen. I like the fact there's eighteen little screen on there. Eighteen six fifty, nice tank. See, you can actually see your juice in it. And uh, yeah, it's a canny little thing actually. It's very very pocketable. And the eighteen six fifty makes it interesting. Battery life's incredible for a while. Mm. It lies about the battery life. Ah, uh, well, it falls off a cliff. Yes, but it's very, very good. It just is very dishonest as well. Um, so that's a thing. Um, I've got um, uh, cannoli, I think. No, I don't know. I've got some juice in in both of those, um, and in this one. Uh, in the Squape Enduro on the Mustang, I've got Daily Vapes, Vimto Billions. Um, and uh, that's all good. That's all good. That's all me. Done. Oh, exciting. News. It's time for the news. Um, <coughs> it's, we know what it's going to be about, let's be fair. There's... Yeah, but, but yeah, it is going to be about that. But we we got to talk about that. So... Um, you want to tell us something about the IBVTA, John? Yes, I do. I'm going to tell you all about the IBVTA. Why do loads of people send me messages just for the show? It doesn't make it easier to do it. The show. Right. So, as I'm totally certain we all know, um, uh, Mr. Boris Johnson, put the country into what is in effect a full lockdown on Monday uh, when no uh, uh, I'll be careful to choose my words because lots of people have got this wrong <clears throat> all essential retail outlets all unessential retail outlets must close retail outlets <clears throat> not businesses um ba -ba 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 um, so the IBVTA, I'm going to read you what they've written about the situation. <clears throat> 
The Health Protection Regulations 2020 have been put in place to reduce the risk of human to human transmission by giving by keeping individuals in isolation where public health professionals believe there is a reasonable risk of an individual may that may have the virus. Um, in line with the latest government advice designed to delay the spread of COVID-19, the IBBTA issue the following advice to our members. The announcement by the Prime Minister yesterday evening, it's Monday, that we all need to collectively do more in containing this pandemic was followed last night by a list of exempted retail stores. And they've got a list. As vape stores are not specifically included in that list, we are doing the responsible thing and advising the IBVTA members not and advising IBVTA members not to open stores to the public today. Online and delivery orders are not affected. Affected, the IBVTA worked late into the night and as early as possible this morning in order to get further clarification from the government as to whether vape stores can reopen. And as soon as we have more have that clarification we will issue further advice we fully respect that this is a difficult time and as our phone lines are extremely busy we appreciate your patience while we work hard to get the answers that best support independent vape businesses their staff and most importantly their customers so for right now bricks and mortar stores that are bricks and mortar stores only should be closed it's a tough one isn't it it's a shit mm. It's a tough uh, yeah. one. It's a tough one. I mean, especially when they are doing things like changing their mind on alcohol shops. Um, I saw that yesterday. I mean, nobody. I mean, unless you are an alcoholic and then therefore in need of very specific help, you don't their, need booze. Their point was to take the load off the supermarkets because people the point were going nuts. W- was a bit that. And a bit that the off licenses generally sell other things to like gas top ups and electric top ups. And yeah, they it's a really tough one. It's a really tough electric. one. Um, my, my missus works for an energy company, and that's one of the issues they're having with a lot of their clients is yeah, struggling yeah. to Pay get hold you. of uh, top ups. Yeah. Uh, yeah that, that's that the thing. So that's the thing. So that's on one licenses. hand. On the other hand, the vape shop people that I've seen moaning um, kind of need to fucking have a word with themselves really uh, you know adapt and thrive you know start start doing delivery within the sh- from the shop or a phone order service or ad- you know, adapt you know adapt I, and thrive. I was chatting to one of the other shops today and that's exactly what they've done he goes into his, his place 1pm packs all the orders that came in the night before and during the day and drops off at the post office and goes on. We, uh, the way we did it, uh, as I said on the show last week, we actually closed on Monday the 16th. Um, had a conversation with uh, Mrs. Just Dad Nick, formerly known as Mrs. John, on the Sunday before. And um, I felt morally that we ought to close. Um, <clears throat> for the safety of our online customers, so they weren't sending it out. And so we closed. So Monday morning. So Sunday evening we announced and Monday morning I didn't open last Monday. Yeah. So uh from the sixteenth until now we've been closed. Uh, um, you see vape shop owners going, I don't have a website, so I'm screwed. Why why don't you have a website? You've been trading three, four, five years, you don't have a this website. This is the bit I won't be involved in. <laughs> I'm not gonna say brick, anything you're a brick and mortar store, everyone knows brick and mortar yeah. stores across all industry have been in decline for a decade why don't you have a website why haven't you pushed that why haven't you got a client base set of everyone's details so you can get in touch and drop them a mail or why don't you have a facebook like page you know why because you're shit at business so don't just start sulking (laughs) (laughs) this this is why i wasn't getting involved in the conversation because you're a shit at business (laughs) It's a thing. It's a thing, you know. Adapt and thrive. Get That's going. That's an MBA dissertation if I've ever heard one. When because when, when shit gets real like this, double down. Work twice as hard from home. <laughs> we, um, I will say if you if you're local, the best source of information seems to be right now 
for this is check their facebook pages their brand pages and see what, what people are doing some people are just announcing <clears throat> some people are going quiet some people are giving you information on how to order eg the phone or or whatever and delivery or they've got made a website as quick as they can um uh, as i've said i said in the week on, on a little video i made uh, on the brow brand page and i'll say it again our customers have been <laughs> absolutely incredible because we we've always been 99 percent online anyway and um the little notes where the people type up when they're doing putting their orders in during this not fun time they've been they they kind of make your day when you've had enough when because literally i've got all the blinds down the doors locked and the sign on the door um for over what am i now 10 11 days uh 11 uh, it'll be 11 days today um it makes a difference when people write silly little things and just uh, kind words on the flip side of that to provide balance but this i genuinely but mean this if you want your brick and mortar store to survive this find their facebook page give them a ring and support them if you can if you want that store to be there after this do try and help them even if they're not doing very well at helping themselves try and help them try and try and get an order sent to your house or something like that you know or at least support them or share them in your community thing or whatever you know um, you have to, you know, you're gonna have to do your bit if you want to keep these stores because some of them are really going to struggle now for a few months. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind it's of a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a, I'm going to transition into the next bit. This is a, a seamless transition. Um, I'm not going to read it verbatim. <coughs> um, That'd be a nice change. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. Yeah. It's really it's just to say it's absolutely impossible to, to get through the the news to actual news that's not COVID-19 it's 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 impossible to do that um so we're just rolling with it Uh, and a point I I kind of I made it on our Facebook page last night and it's just a discussion between us having not smoked for I think we're all kind of around about the same time I'm sure having I've not smoked for eight years um coming up for eight years um and it, it kind of it occurred to me yesterday that uh, uh, before Paula begins, I know that some people have got pre-existing conditions before smoking, um, but it did occur to me last night that, that out of 3,000 odd members that we've got, uh, I, I do feel that many, many more of them, had they continued to smoke, would be in a different position when they're facing COVID, um, as yeah. we are right now, and m- maybe under a lot more of a shadow. Uh, when it comes to this, because we know it affects the the vulnerable a lot more, especially if you've got a lung condition. And I do feel, I don't, I'm not fatalistic in any way, but I do feel that uh, I'm very appreciative that I decided to give up in 2012 smoking, and not have added another eight years to my lungs. Um, I think and, we're all very fortunate for that. What for me? Cheers, man. <laughs> Well, we we we, we uh, tolerate that, but I think we are. Good. I, I'm I'm forty next year, and uh, I'm glad I don't smoke anymore. And I'm glad I've not smoked in yeah since I was thirty. And I think there's loads and loads of members on there. Lots of people joined in with stuff they were saying as well. And um, I don't care. What, I, I don't give a shit. We know that COVID doesn't spread through vape clouds. But we we know that don't. They it's said still a, bit of, still a bit of that floating about the news, though. Isn't yeah, there? I totally avoided it. It just couldn't be fucked. It's been proved. It, it's not true. You cannot. You can't. There's no. It's not. It, uh, it's too. Even if there were, even if you had COVID, and you breathed a vape cloud out. It's no worse than breath. And we know that it doesn't travel in. It's yeah. not transferred through the air. It's transferred through droplets. So if you cough, that's a different thing. But a vapor coughing is as bad as anybody else coughing. Um. Anyway. Uh, I, I feel incredibly fortunate that I quit when I quit and I'm incredibly fortunate that everybody else in the group did uh, and um, as I said what well, <clears throat> if you are in that vulnerable position and you're a vapor or you're not we all know we could easily be in the same position so if you if you do get the opportunity to help somebody who is in that position where they can't leave the house at all then do do it <clears throat> and obviously I need to reiterate this Paula Jankowski catches it. First thing I'm doing is getting in the car and driving down and kicking her in the face because she's very small and I feel that she needs the virus and a kick in the face, which is 
we've discussed it and it's the only way moving forward that we can do yeah film it yeah well obviously <laughs> obviously lots of people are filming giving a granny a lasagna but i'm gonna film myself kicking a woman in the face so just feel it's appropriate um the last bit in the news uh that is the news the news gonna wing it again um <clears throat> one thing on, that hang, uh, hang on i've got a bit of news go for it man that thing we talked about before we just came on oh yeah yeah with the What's that? Edge. with the oh so, yes yes go for it right so we've decided as collective uh, just as a little thing just to avoid any complications uh, we are going to suspend posting and therefore sales on the sales and trade page on our Facebook group, our secondary group. Um, we're not going to allow people to post and therefore they won't be able to sell and trade things on there um, from lunchtime tomorrow. So if you're desperate to put something up, put it up before lunchtime tomorrow. Um, but otherwise we're going to stop posting just for a little bit. We're just worried about the impact on the postal service and then for delays and then for arguments and problems and we don't really want to be encouraging people to have to go to the post office to you know flip something or whatever you know so I, we uh, we yeah we just just for a little bit just just as a little precaution we're going to suspend sales and trades uh, as of lunchtime tomorrow so if you're really desperate to sell something or trade Get something it now. do it on tonight or tomorrow morning and I, th I think it's the it's the only responsible yeah. thing we could have done. I just it's it's more just to avoid issues, you know. If something because the postal service is going to come under strain now, they're going to be their workforce going to be cut by ill people and the additional load of people posting stuff. So um, we don't want it to lead to complications or arguments. And B. Oh, yeah, that's another, that's a good point as well because we we do we we do you everybody uses them a lot. B, I've got two, one thing's just true, uh, just the thing you should do, and the second thing's just funny. Uh, one thing you should do, be really nice to couriers right now, because it is way more shitty. It was already, I'm not saying it was the best job in the world before, but it's really fucking not terrible now. Um, and I use couriers all the time for lots of, for plastics and labels and Christ knows what. And we're having to do this transfer where... <clears throat> they're outside the door and they take i'm doing poses now but on the inside of the door like mm. so they've got like a picture that they have to send their head office with a box in front of the door and there's me on the inside um but be as kind as possible and you know however you can do to make their life that little bit less shitty attempt to do it we had uh one of the couriers uh, vapes our liquid and uh he pulled up he asked me something, he backed off, and I threw it out of the door, and he caught it. So he's got, he's on Can Only Be Mine this week, because <clears throat> I threw it out of the door. Is he this was the John... vapor? Yeah, hopefully. No, he's wearing it, I think, as like a... It's, it's lovely. He, um... <clears throat> the other thing is, our postman is really, really... Our local postman is very funny, and um, uh, normally he's from Kent, and whenever I talk to him... He's an outsider. Chat. He's an outsider, but wherever whenever we're talking, he's got. You've he's talked got, to him. He's got Rick going. He does a bit of it, you know, bit like Kent. And, it, and now, I'm previous to this, whenever we were talking, I, I'm, I do drop tend to drop swear words into conversations, just generally. Like but what? now, he, like fuck, you know, oh fuck, now, oh shit, it's fucking horrible, isn't it? Oh fuck me, the weather. Yeah, but the funny thing me. is, now he's got such job security. He's adding fucks and shits, and it's really, really funny for some reason for me. I go, oh, what a day. And he goes, you're not fucking kidding. Fucking shit. I've got to fucking go up there. I've got to fucking come back down here. And then he goes, fucking go back over there. What a load of wank. He has got job security. No one is taking that job. Love yeah. it. Mm hmm. Uh, anyway, next thing. Bit, uh, next thing was just the, quickly, really, the Ameri um, <clears throat> as the virus kicks in over in uh, the USA, uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're really in the very early days at the moment. Um, uh, I've seen a bit of push from American Vapors to uh, request that their state dismiss flavour bans that are currently in place and any... Um, uh, basically prohibition of liquids um, 
to try to relieve some of the strain and try to stop things shipping in uh, to what could be a clean state um, and, and try to move to a more local thing. Uh, I think that's not a bad idea, really. Um, mm -hmm. Get it done. So they are trying to use it as a as, as leverage, and I don't have any issue with that at all. Nice. Nice. Now, any any sort of advantage that they can take, I think they should. That's the game, isn't it? That's the game. They've been so disadvantaged by the way the system is stacked there. That's the game. No. Uh, very good. Right. Let's get on to this massive pile of vape stuff that we need to show you. Do you have a preference on order, James? Or... Do you not care about that sort of thing? I do not care about that kind of thing. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the nipple? Yeah, well, here's the thing, here's the thing. I can tell you some things about certain things, but I can't tell you everything about anything, really. Mm. Uh, the the Viet world is on a lockdown of sorts. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I must admit, I have... I, uh, I have messaged uh, modders and stuff in the last couple of days, and I've had very little back. I'm sure there's genuine reasons. I mean, the, the whole world is in lockdown, uh, so I haven't got I haven't got all the information I would like, and I and I, and I would normally bring here, yeah, but I have got some information. Okay, what I've got mainly for the nipple is some pictures, some sexy, sexy nipple. I think we need you to say nipple again. You nipple. have the you have that's the voice. That's the nipple. accent for the word nipple. How many times nipple? Uh, this is the uh, the V3 nipple, which is coming uh, at some point in the very near future. Mm, I mean, really, really soon, really, really soon. All I've got is prototype pictures and some kind of um, some kind of sketchy drawings of nipples. I, I can't tell you this. I can't tell you this. The the uh, the new nipple is uh, judging by the deck pics. Because you've got to love a, a nipple deck pick. Um, it looks like it's going to be a kind of a, a two post choppy, uh, no central post like the uh, like the V1. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more like the I think I think the baby the baby nipple or the or the nipple V2 was them two kind of side by sides. Because I mean, mm. nipple wise, I can tell you my experience of nipples. I've only ever had the big OG nipple. That's the only nipple I've ever. Had. I really wanted you to say I've only ever had two. <laughs> Um, I, just, I needed it. No, no, just the one, just the one, just the one. Uh, left or right? So I can. T it's it's this. Well, it depends on what mod you're on, doesn't it? it depends on what mod you're on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so here's the general. Is the is the general gist? It's uh, it's going to be kind of a side by side two port system, not like the the original V1 where it had the central port. And you kind of had a wangle that I didn't really understand. Yeah. I don't I, I didn't understand how people were getting great flavour out of that. Uh, you couldn't really get the the, the common way you wanted to be with the gigantic legs. Uh, it's going to be a side by side posty job, a, a bit like I think the V2 and the baby, and uh, and they're also releasing a, a, a nipple tank. Yeah. For that's cool. It. That's cool, isn't it? It is. It is. It is. So I think that that's that, that's that's the the latest from TGT, uh, which is the company. Uh, I think are the French. I think it could be French. I wouldn't be surprised. I if think so. Think. <laughs> Whatever that means. But I, but I say that that's probably no, is that racist? Really I'm assuming. No. So the, I think the pictures the pictures are, are the, the best thing to kind of uh, go off there. No real. It's going to be. I can tell you this much. It's going to be 22 millimeter. It's going to be uh, probably stainless steel like the other ones. It's going to be a two-pore system. It's going to be predominantly for mouth to lung and uh, and loose uh, directs. But predominantly, I think uh, mouth to lung is kind of where 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 they're at. There's going to be two versions. In the future, there's bound to be Damascus and Timascus and all mm. sorts because they love the fancy materials to yep. TGT. Uh, but I can tell you that much for almost sure you can bet the farm on that chisel mm. uh, but that's all I've got is them pictures and a little bit of info There's, it's due to drop soon there is going to be more if you're if you're on if you're on that Facebook thing join the group that's where you'll get it uh, there will be re retailers but we're not what the current uh, climate is for retailers yeah who knows 
so uh, so get yourself on the uh, on the Facebook. It's the uh, it's the blue the blue F. So that's that's the TJT nibble. Very nice. Uh, I've got one. Right here we go. This is the cog off of Watofo. No, Ooh. that's not it. The cog off of Watofo. Uh, this is a Mautalung RTA called the Cog, and it's in collaboration with our friend Matt Cully. Oh. Suck my mod. And uh, the, it's big thing. It's big thing. It's it's predominantly mouth to lung. It sounds like there is a way of direct lung in it as well. Um, but um, it's big thing is it has unseen before brand new airflow. The is this air... the gear spinning flavor winning? I, I hope there's nothing spinning. It says gear spinning flavor winning. Yeah, but I don't think anything actually spins while you're sucking it. Where where are you looking there, John? I can't see this thing. Oh, okay. That's why I keep looking off screen. You have to kind of keep keep uh, with the so way we on, do it. It's now. on screen now, uh, so you should see it in a sec. Uh, okay. But um, yeah, so it's uh, it's a mouth long RTA, twenty two mil meters wide. And uh, it's got very unique air. Now, they've put a little picture on to help with the understanding of that, but it doesn't really show us what's really unique about this airflow. Don't quite know myself. It it's looks gear like spinning, it, mate. It's gear spinning. It looks like That's... it goes in the side, around the base, and then up through the central pin. And then there's uh, those... Okay. And then there's those... If you, We're looking at the picture on the right now. Oh, so And then there's those screws... And I don't know if they play a part in it. Because obviously you can detach it to this point, and then I don't know if you can put a flat head in and tweak it to make it really tight or something like that. We're not sure. We're not sure. That'll be, uh, that's probably a gear spinning, the two. But two if it screws. is purely that you can turn those screws to lock it down a bit more, that's been done before. Um, but uh, we will see. I think it's nice looking. In the picture on the left, the glamorized. Um, pro I don't hate picture. it. It uh, looks all right. It's got almost a bell cappy feel to the. I quite like the little kind of that little what? Quite like that. Yes, I think the, the concave bell's nice. Mm. Yeah, instead of just being the. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks semi interesting. I think it's all right. And um, Watopo make good tanks. Watopo <clears throat> make Bobby, good tanks. Bobby Blindy is saying. God, I love that winning, spinning feeling. And I agree. I'm pretty sure it hasn't got a fan in it. It's not like a turbo fan situation. Um, it's it's gear spinning, flavour winning. That's what we know hey, at the moment. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a strap line. If I'd have thought of that, I'd have used it. Um, Definitely. Well, but uh, we, that's all we know. Um, I, it's on its way to me, apparently, soon. But again, in this current climate that we're living in, who the F knows? Um, right, James Smovesto. Okay, okay, it's for, it's from Svo. Uh, we are, we've got uh, something new-ish. Is it new? I'm not sure how new-ish it is. I've got two things from Smovesto at the minute. One of them's uh, new-ish. Uh, a reissue, a reboot, a, 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 a redux. It's... it's, it's, it's it's the Kiev on five squared SE, uh, apparently. <laughs> is this new? I'm going to challenge you around new. This I, don't is, think I think it's pretty super, new. I don't think it's super new, is it? Uh, well, I, I, I think uh, the pictures went up this last week. Okay. I think. Uh, I checked on on the uh, on the on on the gram. The gram there was there, there was more pictures on the gram also. People have got on the. I don't like I don't like the people are now on the gram. That get more on the gram than you're on the book. And yeah, I'm not sure they're all like that. That's true. Um, anyway, so this is the KF15 squared SE in a new design. I don't think there's much different apart from the original uh, KF15. It's uh, it's been, been kind of it's been remixed. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a new it's a new flavor. It's long, is it, it? it looks better better looking. It's made to. It does. Uh, certainly aesthetically, aesthetically, it definitely does look different. Uh, so let's go through the, uh, the 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 bits and the bobs. It's now. Here's the thing. I I I I haven't I haven't been following Kiafone since yeah. oh, for a few years. I kind of dropped out of love with Kiafone to be honest with you. Um, but this is uh, it's got an ear ten top cap. So 
I did previously did the other one have a 510 top cup? I should have probably researched yeah, it, did. That. it did have a 510. Yeah. So, that, so, I, I, so, so I presume that, that was the case it? that previously, uh, that, that's why they were announcing that it had an A10, because this is an area key phone. This is for yeah. this is a non key phone key phone, in my personal opinion. The key phone was always for most long, it was always for them flavor people. Uh, so this is it's got it's now got an A10 cup top, uh, top, cup top. it's now got an A10 top cup. And by that, they, by that, they mean a goon tip, don't they? It does, yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, yeah. there's 510, there's the 10. I, I, I presume the 5 is to do with millimetres. Can well, it be millimetres? Almost yeah. definitely. And then and then 8, it seems bigger than 8 millimetres. Anyway, uh, it's, the big, it's the biggest dog drip tip. Uh, with PS, PSU, uh, let us tell you about PSU. PSU, I've got some information on PSU. It's a, it's a material, it's a kind of material. It's almost as clear as polycarbonate, but as sturdy and re- and reliant as Oldham. And furthermore, it's biocompatible, physiologically unobjectionable. I've got no idea what that, what that means. That comes straight from the Swarm Estor uh, Graham Page. Right, it's uh, being questioned by John Malcolm, but Bobby's answer to it just means you can compost it. It, if you've used it, chuck it in the garden no, that's, waste. That's biocompatible. Your biocompatible it. means it can be implanted into your body. Yes. Nice, nice. That's what it means. means it's yeah. body safe. Yeah, it's safe as safe as yeah. yeah. sort of, they're running down that uh, insanely hygienic sort of line. I think. Oh yeah, you yeah. could totally stick this up your bum, no problem at all. <laughs> You are oh, such man. a dick. Someone always it, makes me snot laugh. Every it single. also has uh, an engraved tank shield, which I think is that's kind of uh, that's just the uh, that's the the, the chamber bit, Bobby Jobby there. Uh, PSU window, which is the same material, but which is bomb safe. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, and I was saying, the F was four millimeters. It's got a seven mm seven milliliter capacity. It's going to be one hundred and thirty euros or thereabouts, which is Gosh. kind of the general. I think uh, as I think all of them, but, but my first year from sure was one was one hundred and thirty euros. That was yeah. They do the odd cheapy every now. They throw a cheapy in now and again, but that's the going rate, isn't it? That's yeah, the going rate. Yeah, yeah thirty euros right. is about uh, is about it. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the Kia Phone Five Squared SE. Looks good. Looks really good. I'll be honest with you. If you if you were any of them photos actually on mod that I sent you, uh, Rich? No. Yeah, probably a good job. It's fucking massive. Yeah, it's <laughs> tall, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's enormous. I, I really, I really, thought, I really don't want, I want James to sell sports cars now. Uh, <laughs> Rate. Yes. Just... Have you seen the car? Rate. It's nice, but like you can't fit it on your fucking drive because it's fucking well, massive. Not putting it on a three fifty. Oh, he joke, oh, he joke. So uh, next thing, next thing, next thing is again from Soul Mess. Well, this is not a tank. This is just a little accessory. This came out a couple of weeks ago. This is uh, for the Kiefer Light. Uh, it's a it's a new centre pin. We've got a picture of this as well. I think. Like you want to see a centre pin as well. Uh, it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's. Uh, I find it while you're talking. It's. It's just a reduce. It's. We've seen this on a few things now, and and it's dead important. It's dead important. You can't just reduce the airflow on the outside. Go reduce reduce the airflow on the inside. Aha, it's on screen. For, for velocity and that sort of thing. Um. So it, it's just. It's just a, a new. Um. It's just a new. Pin for the it's an airflow pin for inside of your um your cape on light, which is an older tank now. It's an old, old oh, tank. Richard put it up earlier when he was doing the yeah, other stuff, yeah. It was flashing in through the whole directory, um, all right. But it it's on yeah. screen right now, and I totally Brilliant. get what you're saying, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this, this reduces your airflow down to 1.2 millimeters, which for me is a perfect mouth. I know some people go, ah, one millimeter is mouth to lung. I like it just a little bit area that I like 1.2. I think it's, I think that is the perfect. Creme de la creme of the most. I'm, I'm more point eight. I have to admit, what, on that guy. What will that go in? That will go in the uh, the Cape One Light. Right. Oh, the 2019 one. The 2019 Cape One Light. Oh, so it's superb. It. So it's kind of it's uh, it's it's bringing it down. It's bringing it down. I think the photo shows that it's in that it's in the, the new Cape One Light. So um, it reduces it to 1.2. Increases it, it, it improves your velocity. Like I say, you can't just have the airflow tight on the outside. You need on the inside as well. As as Rich proved with his awesome, uh, but now sadly unavailable. Um... Oh, that hen's teeth, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saver, saver is the word. Yeah, saver, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, uh, I've uh, got forty of them over there, but they're. <laughs> they're, like, they're like hen's teeth. 
PM Rich if you want one. PM Rich if you want one. There are... It does. Does it? Does it? I was wondering just then. It, I assume it also must reduce the noise because it reduces turbulence, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I could, I could it well do it. it I had a comment basic, on basic. Ba- it's as simple as less air going through something. Dynamics. It's got, it's got to do that. It yeah, has to reduce the sound. Yeah, less air going through something makes less noise. Yeah, yeah. It's got. Was was the um the night the the nineteen light um no, was it a noisy? They track? didn't they didn't bevel. They had the same problem when they did the the V two the light V two is where they didn't bevel the edge on the on the airflow. It wasn't so noisy it wasn't, though. It it wasn't noisy. It was noisier than the original mm-hmm. light. Yeah. <laughs> which this should now completely get rid of. Yeah, it's ridiculous to say that, but like, <clears throat> so the when you come to like the the droit, droit, it's got that beveled edge, so you don't get anything. I don't know why they don't, because this has been an issue with the 2019. People, it's a fixed airflow, so people just not quite having it how they want it. Yeah, um, okay. I'm surprised they haven't done this before, and I also I'm surprised they haven't just released a range. Pins. Literally, yeah. you know, 0.7 all the way to 1.5, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but that, but it's still very. That's going to be very good news to some people that have uh, put their uh, 2019 in the drawer. Yeah, totally. I totally. I mean, it's um, it's 10 euros. It's 9.95 or 9.99 euros. Obviously, plus your delivery. Uh, I, 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 obviously, if you if you if, if you're importing it from Germany, that's going to be a few quid. Um, for, your, for your, your postage. I don't know whether Keith is going to get them in Cloud9. Cloud, I think, Creme de Vape. Jesus. Creme de Vape. Yeah, I'm sure he will. I'm sure. Uh, uh, but, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't be surprised. They, they are in um, in close contact with Fermesto. Um, so, yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if you get one, pick one up in Creme de Vape in the next few weeks or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Um, uh, I have another thing to show. Uh, cool. This is the UL. A very quick one. This one. This is the UL Mars. This is the latest pod slash AIO. Mm-hmm. Basically, taking an existing pod of theirs and putting it into a more established mod um, on screen now. Uh, for those who want to see it, uh, but basically, it's if you imagine sort of getting your sort of classic pod style vape. Um, you're sort of almost your uh, jewel, if you like, and just having a bigger base to put that in and vape it as a full mod uh, with the added benefits of, you know, battery life and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of that idea. It's kind of a, a bigger, more established home for their pods. Now, their pods are pretty good. Um, so if anyone is a big fan, I know there's quite a few people on the Caliburn. Um, which is one of their... Yeah, it's, quite, it's been quite popular. Yeah, so it if, seems if like a battery step life down, has been an issue, though, if battery life has been an issue with that, then this is something to look out for, because it'll have, it'll have equally good coils. You well, the one thing they do nail is coils, so um, I think some people might be interested in that, because the Caliburn has been such a success. I still see it in hand checks now, pocket dumps yeah. and all that sort of stuff so that is... it's, it's such a like i i, I watching you last night uh Richard, last night was on uh three men and a vape if you mm-hmm. want to go and see that go over to the little bro um <clears throat> youtube channel uh and, and you're quite right it's a really cluttered market right now yeah i don't get it pods and shit and and i honestly couldn't give a shiny shit about that <laughs> i don't understand no no me, not, me neither why the fuck would you get that? You know that shit pod you've got? Yep. Do you want longer battery life? I mean, you could just buy a different fucking mod that's not shit. Well, no, I, want, I would like the shit thing. I mean, but but you, could, you could carry four pods in your pocket and have yeah. less pocket space taken than that. Than that thing, yeah. yeah. And it's been done. It does it's look been, huge. It's been done before, Jewel. They've, they've got... They've got People have made stuff that's compatible with Jewel pods. You can drop it in. You know that shit pod that costs too much money? Bark me, look at this. You can power it for longer. Who cares? On a, si- on a similar note, another very quick one. Uh, Folk about the games <laughs> and good got... stuff. Uh, the This is the latest announcement from uh, Umier. They were the Wasp guys. We were big fans oh, okay. of that. Um, <clears throat> they have announced that they're jumping on the bandwagon of a, a 40 watt regulated pod oh, I AIO. You know. Oh, it is pod. Um, the uh, Vosine 40 kit. Um, it's kind of. I mean, I don't think it's bad looking at all. And you've got a proper screen on it, and it's variable wattage, and you've got clearly got a tank at the top, and you sort of drop it in, and it's got all that going on. It looks pretty neat. Um, we've got some fans of them in the group, 
uh, as a company so there's every chance this might be quite good it certainly looks quite nice but once again another AIO in a year jam-packed with AIOs even Corona can't stop the constant dribble <laughs> of new AIOs hitting the scene uh, but it does look quite neat they do have a knack of that it doesn't um, like it, it, it look, I mean yeah it isn't bad looking I'll give you that I, I couldn't go a fuck about it but it's quite it's all right uh, what's it called the Vosian Vosian yeah. yeah. how how long do you spend practicing to pronounce and enunciate shit like that I, I don't know if that's correct I, I the, uh, you said you said it with such conviction. I believed you. It was like that's, that's how I, that's what I do it because that's what really triggers people to comment the correct one, and then I get more, um, and then I get more comments on my review. It's Boasian. <laughs> it's quite obviously Vo Ocean because that's what it is. Yeah. Or V Infinite Scene. Some people are I really, really like polite; it. like they literally just break it down phonetically for you, just so you know, even though it's way too late. Um, I just enjoy that. Fucking... Some people are really cross that you get it wrong, which is awesome. But, but it, I want to know how unexpected is that flavor? <laughs> it's really fucking unexpected. Yeah. Wait till you, whatever you're expecting, forget it. <laughs> it's. Um, I, need, I need me one of them. I, I like some unexpected flavor. Oh, oh, no, not in a good way. That's what I look, that's what I look for in a, pot, in a, in a massive. Pod beast system. Yeah, I mean everyone's <clears throat> piggybacking. I mean it's our fault. Have you, it's our fault. Have, everyone watching this, everyone on yeah. here, it's our fault that we all spend the last eighteen months going, look at my billet box, look at my billet box, and China yeah. going, no, oh, we want a billet box, and yeah, so they're all just doing an air. Oh, I bet they're not. I bet they're not doing it in that accent though. <laughs> yeah, we need <laughs> to hear it. <Richard. laughs> we want billet box. <laughs> <laughs> We definitely get shut down for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, why was you? But why was you? It's really. You have to admit, it's really. When was the, when when have any of you ever picked up a pod? Are they ever going to be picking up a pod? Like someone's gone at a show and gone. Mmm, that's amazing. I wasn't that expecting better. that. <laughs> <laughs> that is better than anything I've spent three hundred quid on. This is banging. Never ever happened. Ever. The last time I picked up a pod. I voted, and then I tossed it in the bin, and I was yeah. on the show. Yeah, I remember that. That was yeah. a jewel, though. That is really I, no. That I chucked a jewel. I chucked a jewel. You chucked something else. Did I take a blue? Yeah. I think oh yeah, blue. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a blue. James, James, James. It was a pile James. of piece of shit. Anyway, we're saying. back to we're back into the real I world. Don't have to say it. this one. Is it Russ Mods Bubba? Say it with okay. confidence. Say it with confidence. Let's yeah, see. Is it cool? I, I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. I think the uh, I think the Russian pronunciation is the same as the English pronunciation. Okay, I've got. I've got. I've. I've oh, this is. This is another one. I have got literally zip on this. So rather than calling this, we'll, we'll, we'll just say this is a, a quick look, or it's. Uh, it's very uh, nice. This, I just want I've to say two, I've got two from Russ Mods. Now Russ Mods, I've, I've featured them on the show before. The fella who designs and makes these is absolutely he's he's created the designs are all crazy. They had the twisty one. He, there's been there's been the bit on the show before. Uh, he's like crazy Russian modder. modder. He's he, Ooh. we've got two. We've got two. We've got the. Um, Ooh, nice. It's nice, though, isn't bubble. it? I'm expecting a blade to come out of it. Yeah, we've got the bubble. And we've got the the lighter. Um, and, I, and I've got no, I, I, again, I've, I've messaged him in the past. I've got nothing on this. I've got absolutely nothing on this. He's like, he's, he's, he's I think he is called the lazy modder. I think that's what people call him. Oh, is it that guy? Modder. It's, I think, I think, that, I think this is the okay. same dude. Oh, so this is about nine grand. So, so it's a, and there, uh, as far as I'm aware, these are both one offs, the ones I want to show you now. The pictures speak, uh, well, you the information I've got is them pictures. There's nothing on the Facebook group. No, there's, that's fine. It's, about, lo it's lovely looking, but it won't be cheap. Uh, but we're not one, but he, at the minute that the are the these are going to be the only ones of this particular one, as far as I'm aware. Do, do we even know? So this is the fire up on the up on the top plate. Uh, yes, think, yes, 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 yes. So it's almost like slug esque kind of fire. Yeah, like. it's, I think it's. Uh, I think it, I think it's a. It's, I don't even think it's pushy down. I think it's a pull it towards you. I'm not entirely sure. I, can't, well, I, I, I do. I do. I do like it. It reminds me, it's like, it looks like an old, like, flintlock gun. 
kind of thing. I quite yeah. like that. Sexy. That's cool, isn't it? That's cool, isn't cool. it? Shall I put, I'm going to put the light on screen now. Because uh, I did them separate. I didn't know how you're going to do it. This is the light. This has clearly yeah, got was... a DNA board on board. Yeah, I, I mean, these, these are both. Um... This, this one's got a key ring. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are both regulated. They're both regulated. They've both got boards in them. They're both wood. Uh, I think, if I rightly recollect, the um, the bubba is titanium, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I think the bubba might be titanium. I think the other one is stainless steel. Mm. They're both absolutely gorgeous. Both, I mean, totally, totally crazy. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the, the, these are both one-offs, like, like I, I, I've just said, yeah. Um, the group is Russ Mods. He's a Russian modder. That I, I think it's also known as the Lazy Modder. I, I'm a little bit out of the, out, out of the loop. To be there was a, a UK website that used to carry some of his mods, didn't they? And it was all they were all one-offs. So. Oh, I do. I mean, the lights simply just come on the screen. I, what's, so what's what? the coily bit on the side? There, it's good looking. That man. Yeah, it's that just is the keyring. Beautiful. The keyring, dude. It, it is. And, and if you see the if you see the size of it, I mean, he, he puts it's it next. Too. to... It's obviously called light because it's it's kind of shaped a bit like uh, like an old clipper. Um, yeah. It's kind of got that aesthetic a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, on there we've got the we've got the um, we've got the measurements there. It's eighty. Oh, I've got them. I wrote them down. I wrote them down. I did write them down. Arr, it's about eight centimeters tall, which is not a big mod. It's not a big mod at all. Is it? It's obviously it's a bit of an artist, isn't he? Artist. Always, all as they always are. Everyone is different a little bit. He's put a bit of a. Uh, has, uh, he, has he got a big following, James? Have you, are you on? You must be on his page then. I am. There's a few thousand people on there, but that doesn't mean anything. I'd, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, he's been on the go six years, seven years. He's been on the go a long time. But you know, he's been on the go a long time. He's very nice indeed. Lovely man. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Um. Right. Another one for me. Uh, this one. A bit like James with the the, the K phone. I don't really know if this is if we've missed this or you it can, is genuinely new. Uh, I this thought you were going to say, "Can you stick it up your arse?" Definitely can. Well, wait till you see it. Actually, um, <laughs> the, the the this is the Tinker Two. You now, might live to regret that statement. The Wismec, that is a bad name. <laughs> Wismec Tinker Two. Now they did a Tinker One. And I got that sent to me, and it was the one that um, was uh, deliberately designed to look a bit like a sneaker, a bit like a, a famous Nike sneaker. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Um, so this is the Tinker 2, and it's clearly not a three-battery affair anymore, or it's clearly not a big bubble of a shoe-type mod. They've gone more classic uh, dual 18650 on this one. Um, but this is the, the Tinker 2, and uh, one of the... It's, what, it's, did you, what did you say about the styling? The original one, I don't know if they've done that this time, it doesn't look like it. Um, the original one was styled to look like a classic Nike Air Max shoe no. or some kind of Nike shoe. I um, do remember that. No, this just looks like generic mod. Yeah, so, um, this, yes, so they've clearly scaled that back this time. It's still dual 18650, still got a big Wismex screen on it, um, but it's a bit more uh, a bit more chilled out looking. And it's still shockproof, still waterproof, still dustproof. It's a real hard wearing out and about 200 watt jobby. Um, and uh, yeah, some people will be into this, I think, because it's pretty standard looking, pretty normal looking. Have you got a small. price on that? It'll be about 50, 60, 60 ish for the kit. I mean, for a take to work, get a kick in mod, it's, it's fine. Isn't it? Yeah, and it'll yeah. come with a version of the Gnome tank. I didn't want I'm sure you thing. were going to say Virgin, and I thought, well, uh... hey. Well, we don't know about that. Uh, it's yeah. kind of it's kind of Wismec doing their little smock thing, you know. They have a few mods that are very smock esque, and uh, that's that one of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it'll be a good out and about. Uh, it'd be a good out and about power power bank yeah. of a thing, and the the sub tanks are good. Those gnome sub tanks are good in general. Uh, James, what's left on your list? Ooh, the bloody hell! Oh, the mech. I keep... I mech. keep turning, I keep turning off the the the, the YouTube's <laughs> and thinking. Then we got another we've got bloody. Loads, we've got loads on the Mech, M E C K. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, we'll we'll, we'll leave uh, the 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 last one to the last. Uh, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, this is another one that uh, I have uh, messaged the uh, the modder Alessandro. This is the 
R, what is it? It's the RS356 mic from Infinity Mods. That's what we're looking at right here now. Uh, as we know, Italy is in complete shutdown. However, because everything's made in-house with uh, Infinity Mods, these are still on the go. There was a list up just this week, I think, and we had 10 uh, white Deleron, 10 black Deleron, the solar out immediately. Wow. I'll tell you now, this all out immediately. Yeah. It's the M356 mech. It is it's small. It's well, really small. One of really the pictures sp- that's going around is a two two being held in one hand and one is bigger than the other. Yes. The uh, the one on the, the, the bigger of the two is the original RS356, which is uh, let me just grab one of those, which is the which is which is this one here. Now what have I got to compare it to is the Lucas. It, it this is a small oh, I mean, yeah. the, this one here is um, an Aulus uh, Excel board, and it, it, it it's small. I mean, what have I got? That's well, I have not much else. Here is the here's the rear of mini. It's I mean it's bigger than the rear of mini as you'd expect. But this is an eighteen three fifty, um, fully um, fully non mech. What's the word I'm looking for? Fully regulated. Mm-hmm. Can I compare it to? Oh, here's on the other side of Italy is, is a, a, an SVE. You can see, as far as I'm aware, this is the smallest squonking mm-hmm. um, regulated up until I think up until Chris, um, Chris Scott McKenzie brought out his last mod, which I haven't got, but he. I, but I need. I can't think Is what that it's the click? No, no, no. no the click. It's regulated. The one after that. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I can't think what it's called. I, you know, anyway, but yeah, but it's a, it's a teeny tiny. It's a teeny, and it, and it is considerably smaller than that. Like, and it's, it's even smaller like. again. Uh, well, it's a small tiny thing. looking. What's this called? What is this? The, the Chris Scott McKenzie thing, man. Come on, for God's sake. Uh, That's anyway, the KO, the one you've got. Yeah, 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 the Kyo Mini, whatever it was called. Oh, yeah. Kyo Mini, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, mm. I mean, they say the height's about the same, but obviously it's much, much deeper, the Kyo, uh, the original Kyo. Uh, like I say, I've not got a Kyo Mini. Chris Scott, if you're watching, send me a Kyo Mini. Oh, because he's saying it was just called the CSM Nano. Nano, was it Nano, not Mini? Yeah, yeah, Nano sounds about right. Good grief, my brain. Uh, so, yeah, so this is out of... Uh, this, this is, is going to be popular then, isn't it? This is out of Italy. Uh, like I said, the, the first 20 sold out, partially split. The original RS was vastly popular. When I first bought mine, it was like the hottest mod on the street, uh, the Facebook street of high-end vaping sort of thing. And uh, and, and, and I really, I really, really rate them. I really rate the mod, and I really rate the company. And uh, and that's a great look on mod. It's a great design. It's, it's you know, they use all of the space really, really well. And uh, and the first twenty just sold out literally split. They were quite well well priced as well, at about one hundred and eighty euros. I know it's a bit of a like well, for this sort of handmade in house mm. um, Italian job, one hundred and eighty euros. I didn't think it was a bad price. No, no, no. that's not bad. No, no, it's no. fine. So yeah, that's it. That's the IM three five six mech, and and and. I don't know whether it was just a coincidence, but um, what's the idea? Twenty sixth yesterday was like the anniversary, the four year anniversary of the uh, the original IM three five six coming out. So it was like it was like a four year anniversary sort of job. It, they were released on the same sort of date. That's uh, cool. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Well, I like it. Oh, just a, you made a really good point. <laughs> you made a point there, James. I just want to go for it. One thing that's been released in the last week. Oh, on the last fortnight about COVID nineteen, if you are if you're worried about something that's coming through the post, um, uh, <clears throat> everybody has stated that no, that COVID nineteen could not possibly survive the postal system for thirty six hours. If you're if a, if a piece of post leaves a pla- uh, leaves a place where you're worried about a contamination. It, it, it absolutely cannot survive the postal system for 36 hours. It's impossible. And they've stated that categorically. So don't fret about things like that. Don't get 
totally caught up by that. Because, so if something's being sent out of Italy and you're worried uh, or anywhere like that, or coming out of China, I mean, China is going to take a week, but it cannot survive 36 hours. It's impossible. They have categorically stated that. So order without worrying about you're not bringing it into the country. Oh, just a quick one. I've just done a post on the group. This is a really, really fast one. If you're watching the show right now, and this is only open to people who are watching the show right now, I'm going to say, a, let me try and think, who is your favourite male character in the Carry On films? This is literally just to stop people who are not watching the thing. Um, who is your favourite male character in the Carry On films? You can go and check on IMDb what Carry On is. I don't really care. Um, this is only only open to people who've only got one mod I've got a mod at work that I had to remove the tank from it's absolutely brand new it needs two batteries I'm got, I'll put two Sony VTC6 VTC6s, VTC5s whatever. I'll put those brand new in, in with the parcel um, but you may only enter if you've got only got one mod so this is your backup mod it's absolutely free it's yours. Uh, I had to remove the tank out of it, but you can have it. But you have to. So I just put that on there. It's hashtag one mod is on Facebook. It's on in our group, the new home show. Go over there and uh, write something on there. Uh, just try it. If, if, you, if you do win that, we will be uh, checking. We'll come around your house. We'll smash oh, yeah, it. I don't know if anyone it. watching this has got one mod. I think they will. If you've got one mod. Do, do, don't be a dick. Uh, if you're, if you're one of those people who've got loads, but I, I know as soon as I started speaking, people have started commenting because they're like that, and that's not that's that's fine. I, I'm, I'm going to ignore those first few entries if I know you. But if you, we really like everybody's having a really really shitty time right now. I'm sure there are people who've got one mod, one working mod. It's regulated. This mod, I'll send it to you for absolutely free, no postage, nothing. But do, do I'll, I'll even send it worldwide. But do make sure if you've got one mod, comment your favourite carry on character or actor, whatever, and I'll I'll send you that. I'll close it when the show ends in like twenty minutes. So do it. What are we talking about now? Uh you James wanted to mention uh the late entry is it Dibley News? No, 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 not yet, not yet, no, 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 no. We're still got the, we're still the Hellfire SSB oh, to talk yeah. about. Oh, fuck me, sorry. Man. Yeah, let's not, let's, let's not forget. This is kind of this is, is this the headline or kind of is yeah, the headline? Big time. Uh, yeah, big so This they're on screen now. Beautiful. This is the Hellfire SSB. This is a fully mechanical from Hellfire. They're not just are they available? Oh, they're available to some. Uh, it's one of them things. Uh, they're, they're available really, really soon. This is uh, a full mech uh, from Hellfire. All made in house again, one of them type of things. That's Hellfire, you gotta love the Hellfire. Uh, it is, I'll give you some dimensions. It's teeny tiny because it's a full mech. It is 72.5 millimeters tall by 43 by 24. It is Delrin, probably. I'm not entirely sure. I think it probably is Delrin. I'm not entirely sure though. It's got an uh, automatic 510, which is all made in house. It is silver contacts. It will take, uh, it's kind of designed around. The, Bottle size wise, although others are available, is the round uh, Lucas silk. I, bottle. I like that. I like that. It's got a satiny oh, finish. I like great. That. I love a Lucas silk. And it is uh, coming really soon, about the £250 mark, I believe. Uh, but for a, you know, a midi. You know, I, I did see it. The, uh, the IM356 was well priced at 180 Um mm. And you can see why I said that now. I'm, you know, the, the Hellfire version of a, of a full mechanical it, uh, is 250. Now, this it is different though. I mean, you can see certain things on, on that uh, mech which are totally different. If you look at the, 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 the fire mechanism on, on the Hellfire one, you've probably never seen anything like that before. Um, That's what I was about to ask you about. Absolutely. That, that, the, the loop kind of running where the, where the bottle goes. Uh, that is that, that that is for that that's connected to the uh, to the negative. Of, is it connected to the negative? It's connected, it's connected to, 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 to the five ten, and it is uh, it's also for tension for the button, so you can kind of bend that in and out. The whole thing comes to bits, just like a, like a, is is that sterling silver tubing? The uh, the contacts so that's what are it looks silver. Like. 
the the contact us sterling silver is that all sterling silver no i think it's probably i'm not entirely sure is that, that loop part of the contact that loop is part of the contact that, that loop there is um is is kind of, I think it's connected to the uh, to the negative i think it's kind of i just I, I think i find it really interesting because that's instead of using silver sheet like for for max like most of the models do he's used solid tube or rod a rod of silver which is really clever because he's going to get a lot more tor torsionable strength and rigidity from it on the button i think that's that's genius are we it's going with are we going with torsionable torsional no that's not what you said <laughs> Well, I blame this guy right here. He's a bottle and half a red wine team. Let 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 I him don't, off. I don't blame oh. this. I blame I mean, the previous. I mean, every time I just glance at Brad, just sort of, yeah. so sort of, he looks like Yahoo serious. Just the, the, the picture top. of a little tool keeps popping up as well, James. Yeah, it does. All right, yeah. It looks like a bottle opener. I did. I did chuck some extra bits and bobs in here. So they, they, these were all kind of mentioned on the Hellfire group at around about the same sort of time, I think. Uh, we've got the pry tool and we've got the beads. Uh, these are all, these are all titanium. Um, so the pry, and this is kind of for people who are into the the EDC sort of thing, the everyday carry sort of thing. Uh, the pry tool is is exactly what it is. It's a pry tool, bottle opener. It's a it's a it's a pry tool. It's made of it's made of uh grade five i think oh, i haven't wrote notes on this grade five stainless steel i think uh again all made in house <clears throat> and it is uh it's a, they're not cheap they're about i think they're about 60 or 70 quid the pry tools um but if you're a hellfire fan it's hellfire branded and that'll go on your little key chainy thing probably and you carry that about with you and then the other thing is the beads and uh, i mean it's not really designed to be I mean, suppose you could wear them around your neck or on a bracelet. But these, again, they're for, um, for attaching a paracord on your knife or whatever. They, and again, it's, uh, it's fully titanium, all made in house, branded with a Hellfire logo, the Hellfire writing, should I say, not the, not the logo. Um, and and they're, I think they're about 30 quid each or something like that. I didn't write it down. It's just kind of a little added extra of just some things that are coming out of. Because uh, you, as vapors, high-end vapors, the like stuff in the pot, you know, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. and you remember when uh, them spinny, spinny, spinny things came out? Yeah. Yeah. Vapors love them. They yeah. love them. Yeah. You got to do something with my hands at all times. I'm not vaping. I'm fiddling with some something down there, probably. Um, I'm not seeing vapors at one. Uh and, and and that's kind of what the, the the two I think go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, really, definitely. Um, <coughs> it's a right, sexy, very boss. good indeed. Right, right. Of bead. Uh, Pardon? Very a little instant real time interaction with the audience. Uh, Mick Blizzard, the brilliant Mick Blizzard, has sent me a picture of the original Tinker next to the oh. shoe in question. Oh. Um, I'm show that on screen now. This was it. It looked like this big shoe. Big shoe. Um, I think it was Nike. I'm sure it was Nike. Uh, obviously, look. they didn't want to go on about who made the shoe. They just were inspired by the shoe. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't dreaming it. it uh, the original Tinker was designed to look like a shoe. It looks like this new one isn't designed to look like a shoe. Uh, so cheers, Mick, for uh, sorting me out with that and making sure I hadn't gone mental. Um, but that is that. Right. Do you want to do that last thing? James, do you want to do that thing? Oh yeah, all oh, right. You're talking to me. Sorry, I was, I was, I was. I'm looking on screen, waiting for the big shoe thing. I'm looking for. Oh, looking sorry. For the... It's a bit. It should be on screen now. Uh, the, my delay on Facebook is. Uh, I, I, I'm still doing this on oh, the screen. Oh, no, I was showing it on the thing. I'll, I'll show you in Facebook. No problem. Oh, there it's there. There it's there. Oh, so that is uh, Nike. Oh, what is that? That is uh, uh is that a Jordan Four? That's some that's that rings a bell. That rings oh, a bell. They're, they're not even necessarily night. Yeah, 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 it could be it could be a Jordan Four. Uh, anyway, so uh, yes, uh, this is oh, 
Before I say this, I would just that say... Is, both, both of those are nasty as fuck. No one wants to be seen with those shoes. Very popular shoes. Could yeah, I wouldn't shoes. mind having them in the collection at home, but they sure as shit wouldn't be seen in public. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, well, well, it's horses for courses, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, let me just quickly say about we mentioned. Well, no, we didn't. I didn't. I didn't know you. You, generally lovely people, did. Uh, the um, new Ormshaw merchandise, the t-shirts. The t-shirts are Ooh, the yeah. t-shirts are ready. They were ready yesterday. However, they are trapped. They are trapped <laughs> in in the in the shop in the in the in the printers. The 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 the. the they came yesterday. I can't pick them up. I can't pick them up for at least three weeks, I'm afraid. I will get them as soon as I possibly can. And as soon as I get them, I will be starting to send them out to uh, the people who bought them. But I'm really sorry. I kind of, I just, there is no way I can get my hands James, on them. James, you saw the, what happened when you posted up about exactly this delay and nobody cares. Everybody wants to, the, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Everybody's absolutely chuffed and everybody totally understands. What yeah, but you know what it's like? You know what it's like? You know what it's like? The people of course I do. Did. The people have paid for the T-shirts, John. The people have paid for the t- and I want to get the T-shirts to the people. Uh, <laughs> it's, one, it's one of them things. But there's, there is there is not there's nothing I can do at the minute. That's, um, that's, that's the that's the kind of thing you know that we're we, worried about with the sales page. We want you yeah. safe. There we? were just as many oh, people yeah. in that thread commenting about y- your safety, and they would rather wait longer for the shirt. And you not risk yourself going out unnecessarily into public. Oh, um, I'll fight! I'll fight, Corona! Been, I'll fight! <laughs> that's <laughs> that's nothing, just been taken there, out of your hands. And there, that's there is, exactly there is nothing I do. There is nothing I do. But, out of but, your hands. But there is just I show you that the 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 being printed, and they are there. So as soon as um, as soon as the printer opens, I get them. And I'll yeah, I get, I get them as soon as I possibly can. Yeah, I've got some. It's not. It was going to be exclusive news. I thought it was going to be exclusive news for about 11 seconds. Um, <laughs> Gary Tibley is, uh, he's gone back on the lathe. He's gone back on the lathe and uh, he's going to start producing drip tips again. We should Ooh. have, a well, I think we've already yeah. seen yeah, some yeah, point of Gary's lathe. I don't know why I'm showing it. It's just, just, it's a reference point. It's nothing more than a reference point. Um, but, but um, yeah, I think it's quite exciting. It's been three years since we've had a, a dibbly tip, and uh, he's, got, he's he's dusted off the old layer today. And he's threatened to do this before, though. He has, but yeah, bro, I, said gone, to him, man. I said to him, I said, Gary, if I tell the people, if I tell the people, then you've you've got no fucking choice. You've got to you've got to do it. If if I tell people that you're going to do it, then you've got to do it. So uh, since that conversation, he's 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 dusted off the layer. It's, it's all up and running again. He's got blanks. He's got some inserts. He's got he's got the fucking time. Let's be serious. Mm-hmm. Well, when he's not when he's not on the barbecue, you know, some of that low slow meat takes a while. It takes a while. Okay, uh, so done, think, man. So I think in between um, in between pulled pork, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna get back on the laser. Is that, is that a euphemism, pulled pork? Pulled pork? You know, no, 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 just just eat wanking off pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so in, in between, yeah, he does. In between, yeah. in between, uh, in between barbecue and meat, there is going to be there's going to be tips, and I think the website's not going to be back. You remember that nightmare with the website? Remember that? Oh, yeah, come that on, Sunday fun. night. Oh, let's F F five, F five, F three, F three. I don't even know which F it is anymore. Deep just F and all the keys. F them right up there. F and Fs. Um, yeah, they're coming back. They're coming back really, really soon. Uh, going to be sold through Facebook for now. Uh, follow his page. He's got a page. It's called like Gary Dibley's Super Cool Vapor Lounge. Oh, but oh, by the way, I gave <laughs> I gave the mod away. It's Paul Dumphy, the most fantastic guy, invited us to his club twice. Um, uh, and was down to one mod, so everybody lost, and the competition is completely bent. Sorry, <laughs> that's how it works. So awesome. he's got it. Good times. That's good. Good to hear. Uh, any other business, gentlemen? Before we. Uh... Slide out. Uh, I've got a quick one, just a quick one, which is the crack supply is moving, which is what I hit at the start of the week. Um, as we know, uh, Mark's been unwell, and Mark, uh, Mark, Mark uh, was suffering with the the illness, uh, but he's on the mend. And um, 
He'll be all clear next week. He's putting every piece of equipment he owns through an autoclave. If he could put some of his plasma in that. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's binning. <laughs> he's binning what's already mixed, and we're going to be uh, just a nick of getting a supply. And he's going to be. He's. If you're already a member of Crackheads on um, Facebook, nip over there now because he's. Com- I completely understand this. All the lists from Christmas um, have been. Uh, as far as I know, I've been ditched. Um, so if you want to go over there and get on the list, then do that. If not, wait for me to get it or wait for Just Add Nick to get it in and get it out. The other thing is, um, Just Add Nick, I, I'm still at work. <clears throat> I'm going in every single day. Uh, if you want to place an order, go for it. We'll get it out. We're also going to be getting a, a re stock of cactus, all the cactus punch in the next week. We're really having. Uh, I, I'm well aware of difficulties of stuff travelling across the Atlantic, um, but a, as I very specifically said, um, there's no way the virus can last 36 hours. If I think it's close, then it then it won't get opened and nothing will get moved, and because I am not going to contaminate the store, uh, the chance of something getting from Canada or the US to us in 36 hours is basically zero. Um, but uh, my entire point all the way through this is to keep the customers as safe as I possibly can. Nobody except me, not even Mrs. Just that Nick has been in the, in any, in, inside the shop now for 10, 11 days, apart from me. Yeah, so, and that is the way it's going to stay. If I've had local customers who have been putting stuff outside, uh, I'm sure this comes from absolutely everybody. Click, stay as absolutely safe as you can. Uh, this is, uh, this is, I know this sounds really stupid because everybody's been watching everybody who's very, very famous say it. If you can stay the fuck inside, stay the fuck inside because that's what we're supposed to do. I'm sure we can all, uh, we're sure we all echo that sentiment 100%. Yeah, unless you don't want to, <laughs> <such a> <laughs> stay inside and if you've got to go to work um then i totally get that um because, you need a suntan. and it's and it's safe to do so uh, i know all these guys have been very very no i said the word guys i fucking hate guys guys i hate that fucking word everybody here has got kids in there yeah um brad's got brad's got his little girl at home james has got his little the little james jr at home uh, Richard's got two little. What are they? I think they're Afghanistani children that he looks mm, after. Yeah, one is, and they're running, they're running around the <laughs> house. Oh, wow. I, I, I completely get it, it, it's it's a really really tough time. Oh, and yeah, Rick, shit. <laughs> Rick's got two teenagers. That's all right. House causing bed. Um, I almost think it's easier with them being young because I can are you mental? No, no, I can entertain mine indoors. Yeah. Like shaving foam and paint and paper and just make the biggest mess possible. I don't think they should be shaving. <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> that, but that does explain that thing on your face, though, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she finished all my shaving cream, so yeah. this, is, this is my isolation beard. Uh, but... Yeah, in all honesty, stay well. Um, I'm just trying to think, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we're trying to control the group as much as possible. I know it's really, really stupid for me to say this. They, they were like, we're trying to, if you've had, if you've posted up and you've thought, oh, I had a brilliant idea for a post and it's just a load of shit and it's disappeared. I'm really sorry, it's probably me. Um, I'll just nail it. Um, if it's a funny meme, find Richard's thread, stick it on there. Uh, and if it's if you thought of an activity for people to do, just send a message to one of us and we'll answer it. It's not like we've got well, not like them fuckers have got anything else to do. They're all at home, and uh, <laughs> they'll answer you and they'll and they'll let you do it. Um, we weren't going to do Talking the show this week. I was just going to say John. I'm going to finish. We weren't going to do the show this week. We did the show because we really wanted to show everybody, give somebody, everybody something to do. That was it. Done. Right. No. I'm going to crash out. Smash that like button and we'll yeah. see you soon. See, see, see you soon with that rough John. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that? Was I too close to the mic? Sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, special <laughs> thanks to James for uh, coming on and <laughs> providing us with all that uh, high end gossip, uh, as always. And, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. That was very good, James. And uh, we'll see you soon.